62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem. And we're those watchmen that the Lord have set upon the walls, man. In the ancient days, you used to set the watchmen upon the walls to let you know that impending danger was coming, man. We're letting people know that impending danger is coming, man. You know, whether they hear or whether they forbear, man, it's gonna come, man. It shall surely come, man. O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. And when we don't hold our peace, day nor night, man. You can find the videos on YouTube. You can find the videos. We, we're out here, you know, week in and week out. You know, we got brothers doing the work, bringing out different topics, you know, bringing out different articles, different prophecies, according to the scriptures, diligently watching, man, calling each other up, and, and, and giving, giving the news, man, you know? Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Yeah, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, man. We're commanded not to keep silence, man. We're, connect, we're commanded to come out here and be a pain in the ass, man. You know, to, to, to these average peons that don't know what's going on, to these, to these uh, politicians, you know, Stephanie Rollins, Blake, she catching hell right now, man. You know, those police, we, we was prophesying here a while back, and, and the police was talking shit to us, man. Look what they're going through right now, man. How much more so when the society collapses and the people turn against them, man. So we're commanded not to keep silence, man. We're commanded to keep uh, keep speaking this word, man, according to the scriptures, man. Got a quick precept for you. Right? Okay. You want me to keep going on that? No, that's it. Uh, I got a quick precept. Uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Show Israel their transgression. Supposed to show these Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans why they're in the position that they're in, man. Why they getting shot down in the streets, man? Why, 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 why they catching hell with their woman? You know? Why, why, uh, why they don't have joy in their children? We commanded to come out here and tell them that, man. Whether yeah. they heal or whether they forbid, man. You know, I can say we supposed to do that before it happens. That's why the scriptures say new things that I declare before they spring up. I tell you of them. Not when it all boils down. Not when everything hits the fan. Like when Russia, when Russia starts making moves and all this stuff, that's when you see these other camps come out here and start talking about, you know, Russia being in the prophecies and things of that nature. Or you see folk be come out here and talk about the, 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 uh, disrupt, the, the disruptance or the uh, disturbia, if you will, that happened in the streets of Baltimore. We're, GMS through the spirit is the only one that goes into the prophecies before it happens. Actually prophesy before the things come to pass. You know? How many times you hear other uh, Israelite camps talk about the dollar collapse? You know, how many times you hear other Israelite camps talking about, you know, uh, uh, the art, well, yeah, nobody really talks about the RFID. Even the ones that call themselves believing it. All right? Well, I, we out here, we telling the people the things that happen before it happens. Right? That's what prophets do. Not not do it when it's relevant. Yeah, according to the word of the Lord, man, because these aren't our words, man. Right. That's why you niggas in these other camps are in violation, man, because you're not speaking according to all the Lord's words, man. You holding back, man. This is Luke 12 and 47. And that servant which knew his Lord's will and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes. But he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes. For unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required. Right, and that's basically going into, you know, the men that know about the prophecies. They don't come out here and say nothing. They're going to be beaten with many stripes. And the men that don't know as much, that don't know the prophecies, that don't know the breakdowns like that, they're not, you know, they're not going to be beaten as much as much, you know, because the, here it is, Paul said in uh, uh, Corinthians that the greatest gift that a man can have is the spirit of prophecy. That's the greatest gift. If you have that gift, you have that ability, you're supposed to share it. Just like the man with the, uh, the talents and the pounds, you know? The point of having money is to make more money. Any type, any, any, uh, 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 any stockbroker 
or any uh, anything anybody that knows anything about uh, any type of investment will tell you that once you get more money you get money to make more money you don't get money and you just sit on it that's not an investor here it is that's why the Paul said what that this is our dispensation to, to, by, the, by the Heavenly Father what's the dispensation the dispensation is this knowledge you know the word dispensation is in the Greek the word oikonomia, which means economy. The economy, our household management, man. You're supposed to be tending to the house, making more money for the house, you know? Bringing in more fruit, bringing in more workers. You know, you labor to bring in more laborers. That's what, if you got a business and you work and you, you start off in your business, you know, you start off doing the handiwork, you start off doing all the paperwork. And then when you get more money, you hire more workers. That's the point of coming out here doing this work. You know? Oh, uh, if I can make this quick point. Well, uh, cause, cause y'all, y'all was talking about like the other camps and stuff like that. Cause all that stuff is about making money. You know? Where, where I should be cake donations and you know, for, for the uh, cookouts and stuff like that. You know, like, like all they are about is, uh, is trying to catch people with the fancy garments to try to make money. You know, because if they really believed in the, in the word, then they would push that, you know, but they don't, they don't. They don't got the true money, that's why. Right. You know, they don't have the true treasures, man. The true treasures is these secrets in these scriptures, you know? They have their money in hand and their investments on carnal things, so they, they invest in carnal things. They don't invest in the spiritual things. That's why they don't come, that's why these other camps don't come out in the winter, right? Because if you had that, you had that, that money, you have that in uh, uh, that stock, if you will. Then you go out, that's why this is the Ugoria. You go into the, this is a marketplace. You know, pan around a little. You know, this is a marketplace. We come, this is a trade, man. You know, you come out and we're supposed to trade with the people. You know? Well, they, 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 they expect the society to keep going. You know? That's one reason why they don't go into the uh, prophecies. Because they love the society. You know, uh, even going into the money, we don't care about the money. You know, if a brother, you needed it, you know, you help, help the brother out. You know, but we, because this ain't our treasures, like you said. That was, the, that was pretty much the point, bro. First Corinthians 14 and two. For he that speaketh in an unknown tongue. Oh, slow. First Corinthians 14 and one. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. But rather that ye may prophesy. Rather that ye may prophesy, man. We come out here to prophesy, man. Prophesy the words of the Heavenly Father, man. The coming dependent danger, the calamities, man, is about to come. You know? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All right. Yeah, man. And then, you know, going into it, that's what you... That's what you're supposed to want those spiritual gifts. You're supposed to want the treasures, those deep, dark sayings of the Heavenly Father, man. You know, what, what was Solomon's, uh, uh, what did Solomon dream about? What did he ask for in his dream? You know, for the wisdom. And because the Lord said to him, he said, look, because you asked for wisdom and understanding, then I will give you everything else. So wisdom and understanding comes first, man. Okay? Because that's it. Hey, let me get that. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, Bubba for sure. You know, let me get that real quick. Because the, the investment, when you make an investment, when you make an investment, you don't make your investment for now. All right? You make an investment, you buy, you, you buy, uh, uh, how you say, buy low, sell high. You know, you buy, you buy, that's why the scriptures, let me get that too. Uh, uh, seek me the Lord by it may be found. You know, um, um, you, can get, you can get Ecclesiastes 5 and 1. You know, get that, right? Get that. And uh, there's another one. I don't think that's exactly what it says. 12 and 12 and 1. That's right here. Fine. No, 12 and 1. Get that. Yeah, I see 12 and 1. Yeah, and what else I call? Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 33 and 6. Bring that out. It's Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Right. And strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. The fear of the Lord is the treasure, man. That's the knowledge and the wisdom, man. What does the scripture say? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You know? That's our investment. Because we fear the Lord, we, we ask the Lord for his wisdom, his knowledge and understanding. And then when we get that, those treasures, which that is the treasure, we come out here and we try to trade with it. We making a spirit, we're making a spiritual investment, man. You know? 
we're, we're, we're getting it while it's able, while we're able to get it. That's why there's a scripture in the Apocrypha, I believe it's the 29th verse, verse of Sirach, if you can find it. You know, it talks about when the prophets are around, when the prophets are around, there's no danger, man. Because when all the, oh, you know what? Get that, uh, a famine in the land. Get that, uh, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. You know, because that's what's gonna come. When the famine comes, hey, man, we're gonna sell this at a high price. It's gonna be a very, very, very hard to get this. When you have a product that's not able to obtain so easily, like if you got a car, whatever car, you know, it'd be a Corvette from like, whatever, 1974. If it's like five of them left, hey man, I got five, of, I got a Corvette from 1974, it's only five of them left, I want a, I want a million dollars for it. You're gonna sell high as hell for it. That's why this knowledge is precious. Right now, it ain't nothing. Because it seems like we're just out here, people walking by, oh, it ain't about nothing. But when all times of calamity, you know, when, 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 when people are gonna be looking for stability, you know, when people are gonna be looking for the treasures, you know, the, the stability of mind, hey man, it ain't gonna be easy to get, man. You know, whatever I call, man, you know. I got uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. No, 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 get uh, uh, Ecclesiastes. What, what, read, read, read that, read yeah, that. Yeah. This, uh, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Oh, now, call it again and read it. Isaiah 55 and 6. That's right. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Call ye upon him while he is near. These people don't know that the Heavenly Father is near right now, man. You're before that, yeah, hey, man. You look at, through the spirit, we're the eyes of the Heavenly Father as well, just like the angels, man. You know? We're before, this, this is, this is, the, this is the altar of the Heavenly Father. You know? This area, this is the sanctuary right here, man. Uh, if I All right. a quick point, uh, ahead, brother. Because you said that when this stuff uh, start going down, because that South Carolina situation, is it, that's, that's actually the beginning of it. Because now they can't go into the churches you know, without uh, feeling safe anymore. Right. Well, did, again, brother, Jake is stupid, right? <laughs> because niggas shouldn't have been, they should have been felt that way, you know? Right. Is it, is it more than that? No, that's pretty much a two point. Yeah, yeah, calm, but uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of the youth. I mean, I thy youth. Well, the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Yeah, when you don't have no pleasure, man. When the days like the brother was talking about earlier, when there's no pleasure in these streets, people gonna be looking for stability, man. People gonna be looking for answers. That's why we come out here now, man. We're here, here it is, we're trying to make a, uh, uh, we're trying to trade with you at a very low price. You know? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead, brother. It's Ecclesiastes 29 and 11. Lay up thy treasures according to the commandments of the Most High. Hold on, you a Ecclesiastes or Sirach? Ecclesiastes. Sirach. Ecclesiastes. Sirach. Yeah, call it again, brother. Ecle uh, Sirach 29 and 11. Yep. Lay up thy treasures according to the commandments of the Most High. Yeah, the, co the commandments is the volume of the book, man. It ain't just the, the three, uh, uh, help me out. What's the, uh, yeah, over 630 laws. Mm -hmm. It ain't just that. That's not just the commandments. The commandments is in the volume of the book, man. All right, read that again. Lay up thy treasures according to the commandments of the Most High. Right, because the commandments of the Most High is the whole book. Go ahead. And it shall bring thee more profit than gold. It shall bring thee more profit than gold, man. Because in that day, man, when, that, when the dollar collapsed, you know, People, it's not gonna be able to help, man. You know, go ahead, brother. Shut up arms in thy storehouse. Yeah. And it shall deliver thee from all affliction. Read that again, set up arms. Shut up arms in thy storehouse. Yeah, the storehouse is where people used to store the money at, and the, uh, the priests, you know, you will bring, you will bring your, uh, uh, your, um, uh, uh, no, 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 you bring your, you bring your tights, but you bring your sacrifice, you know, your, your peace offering. But then you had a, 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 a priest offering too. And that was the storehouse. Because you would come with your lamb unblemished, but then you have, you have another lamb, look, look, this is my priest, he, he serves me. You know, look, I got something for you too. This is for the Lord, you may sacrifice for the Lord, but look, I got something for you too. And that was the storehouse, and, the, and then the priest would have so much, he was stored away. He was stored away, and that was money. And the scriptures say, shut up your storehouses, man. You know, because that ain't going to help you. Keep going. And it shall deliver thee from all affliction. Right. Go ahead. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies. It shall fight for thee against thy enemies. Hey, our enemies is coming up against us, man. You know? Who's, who's our enemies? Hey, our enemies, if you are the elect, 
Lord willing, that's us. If our enemies is two thirds of our own people, man. We right. so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native, Native Americans, man. All right. That's our. That's our. That's our first enemy, man. Our own people, man. Yeah, traitors, man. Yeah, what's that word there? Yeah. Uh, they, they committed treason, man. All right. And then you have the so-called white man. He's number two on the list, man. All right. And what he's gonna say, he's gonna come in with like, with like the scriptures say, like a flood, man. Cause he did it before, man. Hey, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hey, in the 80s, when you look up uh, the uh, operation, not the operation, you look at the, uh, it's called uh, MOVE, M-O-V-E. In Philly. Say, in Philly. Philly. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our people had a, 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 a something called MOVE. Dropped the pocket Speak up, brother. Speak up. Yeah, they, they dropped the pocket new one move in the, um, I think it was the late 70s. There was a whole organization yep. of people that was like standing up against the Jake. government. They was feeding their own people. Yep. And the people, and the, they, they said that they was causing trouble in the neighborhood, but they went around asking questions of, of the people that lived in there. They said, nah, move ain't, ain't no trouble to us. They our people. Yep. Anytime there was some type of. Uh, John F. Yeah, that was John it. Name. Everybody changed their name, the last name to Africa. Yeah. Right. And then that was a whole movement, man. You know? And then basically with the so-called white man, he moved in on it. He moved in on booth, man. We keep going where you at, brother. Uh, find enemies better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. Right, subtle. Yeah, yeah, read it, read that part again. It shall fight for thee against thine enemies. Con. Better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. Right, better than a mighty shield and a strong spear. That's why the scriptures say, what's that, Psalms 91? That truth is that shield and thy buckler. Con. Because a shield is, is a shield and a buckler is something that, that stops, it, it, it will stop arrows, man. You know? Right. You know, you had your, you had your, sh you had your shield to stop arrows, but uh, 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 I'm sorry, the buckler would uh, block off uh, swords, man. A uh, buckler was nothing but a smaller shield. You throw it off. That's why the scriptures say that truth is that shield and that buckler. Just like what the scriptures saying here. Keep going on that. An honest man is surely is surety for his neighbor, but he that is impudent will forsake him. Yeah. He that is impudent or a fool will forsake, forsake the knowledge. What you got, brother? Proverbs 8. Uh -huh. This is Proverbs 8 Spirit. and 10. Receive my instruction and not silver, and knowledge rather than choice gold. Yep. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Yeah, not, nothing nothing can be desired. Nothing, anything that's desired can't be compared to this knowledge that we're bringing forth for free, man. This is a free investment. You know, we're offering salvation, man. We're offering, we're offering the uh, uh, faith, man. Because what does the scripture say? Faith coming by hearing. That's why that monkey nigga, he remind me of Shaol, big goofy nigga, man. You know, talking about Yahweh, man. If he had sat here and just listened, the brother said the name of the Lord. He still didn't get it. You know? Can you say how do you come to that to that conclusion? <laughs> he could it went right it went through one ear out the other, man. I don't even think it went in, brother. Go ahead, brother. Wisdom of Solomon 6 verse 32. My son, if thou wilt, thou shalt be taught. And if thou wilt apply thy mind, thou shalt be prudent. If thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. That's right. He said if, thou, if you apply thy mind, man. Okay? Applying thy mind is applying your spirit, man. And this is labor, man. This good, this work, right? This is labor, man. We don't just come, we don't just come out here and just bring out the scriptures. We labor for this truth, man. You know that's why that's why uh, Ezekiel said it, and also too, uh, John the Revelator said he said he ate it, the roll, it tasted good, but then it was bitter. What's that bitterness? You gotta work for this knowledge, man. The diligence. Boy. Yeah, it says, um, if thou love to hear, thou shalt receive understanding. Right. And if thou bow thine ear, thou shalt be wise. Yeah, if you love to hear, if you love to hear, you receive understanding, man. You know? Keep going on that. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of Yahweh is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way. Yeah, because when you're pride and you're arrogant, you don't want to you don't want to hear nothing. You just come up here and think you got the answers, like Yahweh's the truth, like the like the example from earlier. You know? Got something? Yeah, yeah. yeah go ahead, brother. Hold on. Uh, Is it more in this? Yeah, yeah. Let him finish that. You know, and, brothers got scriptures, jump And off, the forward know? mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. Right. I am understanding. I have strength. 
Yeah, the Lord, it, it's all residing on the Lord, man. That's why the scripture says what? The name of the Lord is thy strong tower. The righteous run into it and it's safe. So if you ain't got the name